Sean, you got quite the lineup up there with you. Who's the best striker on stage? I mean, I would say no. me, but I mean, that man was the one that slept that man, so, you know, next to me, next to me, probably Alex. I mean, what was it like, 2-0 against Izzy? Izzy, what was it, 2-0? Did you watch the whole fight? No, I don't watch it. Exactly, fights. do your fucking job next time. Oh. oh, man, I made the champion mad with his fucking frosted tips and his gay little watch. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm just joking, hey, Izzy is a savage, bro. Hey, watch out. No hey, what happened before we walked on stage? Hey, hey, I hey. I smacked you on the ass like my bitch. Bro, bro, you're, bro, you're porn hub. It's just that's with facts. cartoons, bro. No man that beats off the cartoons is gonna be me. Bro, Calm trust down. me. If Calm you ever, down. I can tell you what. If you win this fight, when we fight, I knock you out. I'm gonna do a TikTok dance over your grave. Oh, fuck it. Look at this grown ass man on fucking TikTok. Maybe that's the problem, bro. And the you don't want this guy's a champion. Do something about you it. You don't want this guy's a do champion. Do something about it then. Bro, any Do day. something about bro, it. Bro, I will walk outside with you right now. Right now, you wanna get my number? Step. Come on, um. Bro, I will walk. Right there, I smacked you on your ass. The fuck you do? Listen, bro, you're gonna break a fucking nail. Calm down. I break your Calm fucking down. face. I'll Calm break your fucking fuck. face. Hey, I'll Alex, break my nail in your get face. This man, Alex, get this. Hey, man, you better focus on your guy. He's gonna fuck you up too. Yeah, the way he fucking slept your ass. You're hey, not. Izzy, why don't you tell me what not to do? <laughs> tell me what not to do, Izzy. What? What should I do? Take a fucking nap. You've been vocal about Izzy and gyno and steroids over the past few months, but yesterday he got his Letterman jacket, 50 pass tests from USADA. What do you make of his achievement? You no, know, man, I mean, I'll give the guy credit. You guys are champion, man. He did have one bitch shitty. I don't know what that was all about. I'm not calling the man a liar. You don't see a three million, a million dollars, anybody. I know you ain't got that in the bank. Well, I don't you got three million dollars. Find a way. Me. Somebody please will split it. Nah, man, but real talk, dude, I don't, I don't think Izzy does steroids. I just like to make fun of him, you know, like, a lot of this shit is not true, like, you know, like, maybe the steroids aren't true, but the jerking off the cartoons is true, so it's like, you know. And that's facts. Oh, this guy, bro, this guy. You could potentially fight for the title in your next fight. If you were victorious on Saturday, you could be the guy fighting for the title, so what's your message to both champion and challenger heading into Saturday? I mean, Alex is a big, scary fucking Brazilian. I think we all admit that. You're at ATM and this motherfucker walks up behind you in the middle of the night. You tell me what you're going to be walking away. But now he, he's a tough dude. You know, I, I've, trained and I've trained with plenty of, plenty of good kickboxers. I think I can handle it. You know, and after meeting him at a war and I, you know, beat Alex, you're going to say I'm a whole different guy. I'm going to start painting my nails, act like a female. I'm going to be wearing sunglasses inside. You know what I'm saying? This will be different, bro. I'm going to go get me suits. I'm going to get me a nice car. I'm going to trade on my, my 2018 Nissan Frontier. Give me a Porsche. Just fucking wait. I'm going to leave all you guys in behind. I'm going to be the best champion you've ever seen. Let's go! How difficult is it to prepare for a fight in Las Vegas with um, so much temptation around? You know, there's gambling, there's ladies, that smells of weed. How hard is it for you this week? Well, if you know me, you would know that I don't leave my house because you see the way these people act in the crowd? If I had to be around these fucking people in public, I would probably get a murder charge. So I don't drink, I don't leave my house, especially that guy clamping right there. That fucking guy's like, yeah, how about you drive a big lifted truck, your dick's about this big, let's go. Let's go. This so your first UFC press conference. You said you were kind of having to tell yourself to you know, be on your best behavior. So I'm wondering, did anyone actually approach you and give you words like, hey, maybe don't say this and that? Bro, the UFC was on top of me right from the start. I just want to say something, because this is what, I'm out of the camera view. This is my first press conference. You guys are a bunch of vicious bastards. Man, here's the way you guys talk. I want to go down there and punch all you fuckers in the face. Jesus Christ, you guys are mean. But yeah, no, I, I need to... I need to calm down. But yeah, you with the red hat. You're a, you're a bastard, bro. The way you're talking to Jared, that man's gonna come down there and take your head off. But you're a funny guy. Jesus Christ. All right, let's talk about fighting.